Dear students, under the topic Nonlinear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under type 4. Now here, the given uh, equation is z equal to px plus qy plus p by q minus p. We observe that the given equation is of the Clairet's form. So, therefore, we can write that the given equation is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus a function of p comma q. So, now, we have to solve this equation. In order to solve it, first we have to find the complete integral. In order to find the complete integral, we have to put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. That is the given equation. So now in this equation, if we replace p as a and q as b, we get z to be equal to ax plus by plus a by b minus a. So we, let us mark this as equation 2 and this gives us the complete integral. So now after finding the complete integral, the next step is we have to find the singular integral. And in order to find the singular integral, we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b from equation 2, for which we have to differentiate equa equation 2 with respect to a and b partially first. So on differentiating equation 2 partially with respect to a, we get dou z by dou a. So differentiating z with respect to a, partially we get dou z by dou a is equal to. Now here x will be treated as constant. The differentiation of a with respect to a is 1. So 1 multiplied with x is x. By are treated as constant. So it will completely become 0. Now here the differentiation of a by b is 1 by b is a constant. So it remains here. And the differentiation of a is 1. So it is 1 by b into 1 which is 1 by b. Minus differentiation of a with respect to a is 1. So this is dou z by dou a. In a similar way, we have to find dou z by dou b. So that will be equal to the differentiation of equation 2 partially with respect to b is equal to this becomes 0. And here the differentiation of b will be 1 and so we will have y over here. And here the differentiation of 1 by b because a is treated as constant. So a multiplied with the differentiation of 1 by b which will be minus 1 by b square because we know that here b can be raised to the power b a uh, negative 1 and by using x power n formula we have nx power n minus 1. So the value of n will be minus 1. So minus 1 uh, b to the power minus 1 minus 1 which will be b to the power minus 2 and bringing that to the denominator we have b square. Because it is a simple uh, differentiation I have directly written it as minus 1 by b square minus the differentiation of uh, a with respect to b will become 0. So anyhow it, it will uh, become 0. Now next step is we have to put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0. So when we put this as 0 we get so from this x plus 1 by b minus 1 will be equal to 0. We will take this 1 by b to the right. So we will have x minus 1 to be equal to 1 by b. From this we obtain the value of b to be um, so b goes here and uh, x minus 1 comes here so 1 by x minus 1 and uh, very importantly when this 1 by b is taken to the right it will be negative 1 by b so we will be having a negative sign over here and I will rewrite this as in order to take away this negative sign b will be equal to 1 by so multiplying this negative over here we will have negative x plus 1 so it can be written as 1 by 1 minus x so I have got the value of b. In a similar way, here we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0. So when we put that to be 0, we have here y minus a by b squared to be equal to 0. So from this, we have the value of y to be equal to taking this negative a by b squared to the right, we have a by b squared. So y is equal to a by b squared. So from this, we get b square that is uh, what is b square b is 1 by 1 minus x so y will be equal to a divided by 1 by 1 minus x the whole square so it will go to the uh, so this will be from from here we want a actually so uh, this will get multiplied with y so it will become y by 1 minus x the whole square 
so therefore i mean uh, from from this you have a to be equal to y multiplied with this so y multiplied with 1 by 1 minus x square so therefore the value of a will be y divided by 1 minus x the whole square hope you have understood how to find a and b now we have to take this a and b and substitute in this complete integral that is equation 2 So let us do that. So the value of z will be equal to first we have a x. So if you see in equation two we have a x first. So at the place of a we have to substitute y by one minus x the whole square. So you we will be getting uh, x y divided by one minus x the whole square. Next we have plus b y. So here we have b y. What is the value of b? b is equal to 1 by uh, 1 minus x so y by 1 minus x is what we get next we have a by b so plus a is y by 1 minus x the whole squared multiplied with the reciprocal of this because it is a by b so it will be 1 minus x plus next law finally we have minus a so it will be minus y by 1 minus x the whole square now let us simplify this so here we will be having xy divided by 1 minus x the whole square plus here we will have y by 1 minus x and here uh, this one of the 1 minus x and here one of the 1 minus x will get cancelled and 1 minus x will be remaining so if you see y by 1 minus x plus y by 1 minus x so it will be 2y divided by 1 minus x and then minus we have y by 1 minus x the whole square now we will take the lcm throughout so if we take the lcm it will be 1 minus x the whole square will be the lcm and here we have xy plus now here 2y will be multiplied with 1 minus x because we do we have only 1 minus x over here so 1 minus x multiplied with 1 minus x gives us 1 minus x the whole square and so 1 minus x has to be multiplied with the numerator also uh, by the concept of lcm so 2y multiplied with 1 minus x minus now here we have 1 minus x the whole square itself so it will be y now let us simplify this so this will be further equal to xy and here it is 2y so plus 2y and multiplying this minus 2xy and then minus y this divided by 1 minus x the whole square and if you see minus 2xy and plus 2xy will be minus xy and 2y minus y will be y and so therefore the final answer will be i will write here y minus uh, xy divided by 1 minus x the whole square now in the numerator we if you see y is common so i will write here y if we take common in the numerator we will have 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x the whole square and so one of this term will get cancelled and so therefore it will be equal to y by 1 minus x so this is the solution that is here we started with z correct so here we have z so z is equal to so that is what we get i'll write here z is equal to uh, here we have y so y divided by 1 minus x is the singular integral of the given problem so in order to complete the problem within here i have done this calculations hope you don't get confused so be very clear with the calculations it starts here like this and then uh, i have ended up the answer over here so hope you have understood how to find the sing singular integral for such kind of problem thank you and also follow the next video lecture for problem 5